Here we are, day one. It's actually day two for me, but yesterday was a massive loading day. So I got like 25 RVs here. We got a hospitality semi, everything has been mayhem. We'll give you a little bit of aerial shot of what we got for a camp, but here it is. It's trophy truck race is number one, T1. Um, is on Saturday prologue, Sunday is the big race. And today we're gonna go take our Turbo R out. And I got a Pro R for my uncle and my dad is in a Pro R. We're gonna go do the, uh, the first desert loop, get some of that in today. Tomorrow we'll do the prologue, and then tomorrow afternoon we'll do one more lap. Get a bunch of desert pre-running, and it's uh, it's gonna be fast. Obviously, first time driving a trophy truck, so it's uh, all new for me. I'm excited for the opportunity, but it's gonna be a, <laughs> a wild adventure going fast. So. scared that I'm gonna get flat tires because I've never done it. So there's a lot of places to get flat. So hopefully my co-drivers warmed up and ready for changing them. But no, it's been fun. It's whooped out and rough. And my dad and my uncle are in the pro are So obviously their cars are faster with the four cylinder motor. So they're like up my butt. And every chance, obviously we're looking for different lines. So they're all we're all over the place. Curry's swarming the desert trying to figure out the fast way around. But it's uh, it'll be interesting because of the pace that we push in a in a razor versus a pre runner or the, in the race is going to be just a lot different. So obviously razor you can see a lot better with the trophy truck is going to be a lot bigger. So from a visibility standpoint. Maybe in the books. I'll get the whole thing done, and uh, yeah, dude, no problems. <sighs> this thing's so good. It's so fun. It's unbelievable. So, no flats, no nothing. My dad, uh, my dad got a flat. Actually, did not get a flat. He just bent the rim from hitting a rock that's this big. But great first day. Of course, me fun. A lot of uh, technical sections, but a lot of fast stuff. Like crazy wide open, 100 mile an hour for a long time. So. All right, day two. We're gonna do the first loop, desert loop, 90 miles. It's overcast, a little chilly. Got my nice KMC jacket on. And uh, we're gonna go out, put all the notes in this uh, Garmin, and uh, we'll make sure that everything overlays good. We got some new lines we wanna try. This trophy truck thing's got me a little nervous. It's uh, the course is fast, so it's been very technical in the years past, so this year it's gonna be a lot faster. Today, uh, we'll do one lap desert, and then we will do one lap of the prologue, and then we'll come back in and do one lap prologue in the trophy truck. So let's go. Found a clean lane, and we passed like a little 1600 buggy, and then passed the Can Am guy. And we just come, we come through, and all of a sudden we shoot out the other end. It's like, oh shit, that, there's no more dust to follow. Where'd the course go? Are we even on it? Yeah, we have some good notes, and now like being able to push a little harder and uh, fine tune the notes. There's so many people pre running, you can't get out of the dust. So you stop, and then another guy goes by, but no, nah, it's been great. It's cool seeing this many people out in the desert, man. And we want. I want more racers out here. I want more people in UTVs driving safely on the race course, not backwards, but it's just such a great day. The course they've laid out this year is phenomenal. A lot of fast stuff, uh, a lot of tight technical rocky stuff, but nothing like in the years past. So no tight canyons, nothing that like could damage anyone's trophy trucks, cause some buggy, stuff like that. But whew, she's fast. It's gonna be a lot of fun.
Day two, just running it back, checking notes, adding new ones, checking lines. It's going good, man. It's fun. These things rip. I can't believe how smooth things just rip. <laughs> go first look at the old TT so arrive and drive Let's see how this goes so one shot to uh, just have some fun and see what it's all about so go out and do some treading Uh, prologue in the morning and uh, yeah first time driving the trophy truck in a race so go out there and do what we can see how this thing goes but it's gonna be interesting for sure so definitely not my truck it's a, a rental so I'm um, all we did was throw some stickers on it and we'll see how it goes so we're just gonna have some fun enjoy the day but uh, today was great uh, getting things settled in and scored away and we'll, uh, we'h move from there uh, so tomorrow, nervous. Nervous. Pop, uh, like, tomorrow, Casey and I have talked about this, like, talk about this for years. Like, how oh, how sick would be running a trophy I'm truck, dude? We're we're doing it. We're doing it, Harry. <laughs> trophy <laughs> truck qualifying. We'll uh, really, really see what well. we can do. Have some fun. Keep pushing. Yeah, I mean, you enjoy the day. is done our prologue is done so we uh yeah we finished it was pretty wild so an adventure to say the least so push hard learn uh made little mistakes Aaron did a great job calling notes made it safe just kept us calm so we'll see how it goes so it felt good though but I wasn't pushing crazy hard all the rocks we idled through as far as not trying to get a flat or do anything crazy but overall we're here 200 miles tomorrow we'll make it happen it was fun just a different feeling than the trophy jeep you know the Trophy Jeep being all-wheel drive, feels way more stable, way more planted. This thing two-wheel drive, felt a little skatey, dancey in the in the whoops and the turns, but uh, fun. We had a good time, no no mistakes, and 
we'll see where we finish up and get it tomorrow. <laughs> All right, race safe for the trophy truck. So it's an unbelievable day. I'm excited. Oh, we start in the back, so it's gonna be a party. So we uh, bent the sector shaft, found out last night. But overall, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna go out, we're gonna do whatever we can, have some fun, enjoy yourself, be safe. And, uh, bring it to the finish. Yeah. Race day. We got blessed with some wind, so that'll be good for the for the course, get all the dust out of the way. But we're deep back here, man. There's a lot of trucks in front of us. We're gonna have our work cut out, but just gonna go out there, have some fun, and let her rip. Today did not go as planned. It was an amazing uh, day. First lap was amazing. We had a great time. No problems. Uh, never got passed. Uh, passed a lot of people. And uh, yeah, I came in, got tires and fuel. Everything was good. And then around race mile um, 15, it started like making a uh, like a fuel pump noise, like it was running out of fuel. And uh, yeah, then it just didn't run good until the point where like it wasn't running at all. So. Here we are. So as you can tell, I'm not in the correct seat. Normally, I don't have the steering wheel in front of me, I have the GPS. But dude, day was solid, man. We had a good time. Like, we were, we were just cruising at our own pace and uh, halfway through the second lap, the motor just start, stopped working. So that ended the day and that's all she wrote. UTV qualifying, here we go. It's gonna be a good one. Just gonna cruise, try to get the uh, obstacles. See how it goes. Take your time, enjoy it, and uh, let's make this happen. Last year wasn't the greatest. Obviously, uh, Casey had a bit of a mishap, and uh, we only made it uh, about a mile in the actual race. So, looking forward to trying to redeem ourselves and have a clean run qualifying. That's all we need, just slow and steady, so we have a decent start, and then see how this thing goes. The big rock just rolled right in that right line, so you gotta even try it. Don't even try the rock. Straight up the yes. Left. Middle or left is the only option now.
Casey did. <laughs> I hey, what's funny is I turned left a little too early and, and, it, caught it. and it caught the rock. Yeah. And that was fucked that thing. Yeah. The problem is like it sucks that like even in down here, like I had my momentum line getting ready to turn right and there was a banner. Like yeah. I didn't realize that dude them changing the course like that Steve, after you pre-run. Huh? It right at the end, right here. Oh, yeah. No, I go right over. Oh, oh dude! Holy <laughs> shit! I was like, ah, oh, my God! Well, yeah. yeah. all things done, I didn't roll it over this year, so going to the race I feel much better about myself. So it's good. Sean, Sean killed it. We did a great job. It was a perfect run for what we needed to do. So it's excellent. How was it, dude? That was wild. <laughs> that was a fast. Uh, However, however many minutes we made it in, but I mean, Casey drove uh, amazing. It was smooth. We hit every mark and couldn't ask for anything better. We should have a decent start for the start, so we'll see how the times come out. Day six, feels like 35. The wind has calmed down and uh, didn't feel good yesterday at all. Got call thing done. It looks like 19th or 20th, so stoked on that. 10th off the line. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, whew, I didn't roll it yesterday, by the way. I was stressing the whole week. I didn't want to say anything because last year I rolled and told my car in qualifying. So I did not do that. And uh, yeah, we're going to go pre on all the rocks. My dad's going to go pre in the desert. We're going to get the notes for the desert. Uh, Aaron, who rides with me in the desert, is going to go with my dad. They're going to get the notes dialed in. I'm going to do all the rocks with my uncle. And then um, this afternoon, we'll shake down the trophy jeep again, uh, doing some shock adjustments in the front. and. Uh, Qualifying tomorrow at 8 a.m. So here we go. Another day pre-running all day. Sledgehammer in the books, uh, Fisher Mountain. Car's running good, getting some miles in, and keep going. The course has changed a lot. The desert is changing. Turning into Baja, we're 
so many people are free running that the course is just nasty and brutal. So keep looking, learning, finding new lines. running again uh, we got all the rock trails in uncle and I put in the mile so I uh, feel good in the rocks I think it's gonna get chewed up more it's only Tuesday so two more days until the race but it's, it's good so now uh, now that we got all the rocks done I'm gonna pre-run the desert in the morning uh, but right now we're gonna take the trophy jeep out put in the rocks and see how it feels and yeah just start pushing that thing and seeing how we're gonna do for uh, tomorrow the things that we're testing right now is you know, uh, we went and put portals in the front of it. I uh, put a Fortin transfer case in it. Um, so it's completely different uh, front end on the car. Uh, Paul Michelle absolutely killed it, but the entire front of the car is brand new. The underneath is brand new. A uh, whole new geometry change in the front. It's, it's powerful and mean, and so far seems happy. So I'm pretty excited for what's, uh, what it, what's gonna do. So we'll uh, keep pushing and see what we can do. Smiles. That thing was. It looked good. Dude, the trophy Jeep was just unfreaking believable. I just finished uh, driving the trophy Jeep in the rocks for the first time, and oh my, all worth it. Pure smile. I was nervous that it was going to be rough still, and no wonder more people are going to portals. That thing is just insane. The stability, the control, everything, the way it turns, the way it feels, it's, it's happy all the time. So, whew, 2023, baby. It's going to be a good year. Bam! All right, talk of thunder. A little nighttime. Obviously, the trail is unbelievable. So, pretty insane. Pretty insane. Wednesday qualifying day, so put the uh, trophy jeep to the test and see how we do. But gonna try to be smart and smooth and not do anything dumb. Very excited. The whole crew, you guys have been busting your butt making this trophy jeep awesome. Portal front end. We can get a good qualifying run. Start better than 70th like we did last year. I'm excited. I think we got a good shot at this one.
ultra four qualifying in the books and what a stress reliever um obviously brand new car a lot of new things that we did with the transfer case and the whole new front end and uh super happy uh no problems drove right up the rocks uh just cruised suns in my eyes but everyone it's in the same boat but yeah i'm, I'm excited it, it's truly an amazing uh jeep i'm uh, i'm just blown away with all the work that was put in by the team and to come out here with a brand new car we never i never drove it minus i went down turkey claw and i put five miles on it in the desert and uh I just, I didn't want to be in a situation that I fell behind and crashed it like I did last year. So this whole event has been about getting to the main events with good cars. And here we are, and uh, we're both, my UTV and my trophy Jeep are going to the main events in one piece and in contact. So no flipping over, crashing. So let's do it, baby. King of the Hammers. The course is really chewed up. We hit the same course every day for qualifying out here. So it was sketchy going there this morning without having run it since UTVs on Monday. Uh, but this thing is awesome. All the changes the guys at the shop made, it's phenomenal, climbs good. Casey drove a really smart, conservative qualifying uh, run just because we need to have a car at the start of the race. We can't be freaking risking it all for the biscuit in a one mile qualifier. So we got through, we got through really clean, uh, you know, very conservative, just hopefully get a good, really good starting spot and uh, start 20, you know, top 20 would be awesome. And uh, hopefully have a good clean day on front, what, Saturday? Saturday. On Saturday, hopefully a clean day on Saturday and just cruise it on to the finish. All right, UTV race day, it's gonna be a good day. So weather's great, there was a little breeze, right now there's not, but it's gonna be fun. So long day, get through the desert and then push hard on the rocks and I think that's where we'll make it up. So I'm excited, it's gonna be fun. Casey and I have uh, put in uh, the time and stuff to do a bit of pre-running, and uh, I think we're we're good. We feel good. Casey knows this place like nobody else, so I'm confident in him. He's so good in the rocks and everything. So we just need to get through this uh, first 90 miles of desert loop, and then uh, we'll have some fun in the rocks, and hopefully we don't break anything. All it's all about survival today. Just get to the finish. That's all that matters. <laughs>
Nothing all day. No class? None. Not one. There are shit bottlenecks that you just they're get in the... Hey, I think you're the first ranger. No way. I think you're the first one. I think you're first open. Huh? I think you're first open. There was bottlenecks, and you just have to sit there and wait. Good old RJ, dude. Try to be the hero around, I don't even, uh, K&M. Of course, dude. Amber, dude. I was there. Full, you were? Yeah. Was, dude, fully laid over on him. Got all of that video, dude. You did? Yeah. That's sick. Oh, dang. Stage is previous DACO winner Casey Curry. How are we doing, Casey? Uh, we're a lot better now that we're here, but uh, last year I went and flipped it over at qualifying and didn't even go a mile on the race, so we just wanted to finish this year. But this, this year pro R is unbelievable. The race was awesome, Casey drove amazing, uh, couldn't have asked for anything better. Had uh, no axles, no uh, flat tires. Nothing like that. I had to get out uh, three times uh, for a quick winches, and we just kept chugging along. It was uh, it was a really good day. Hit all of our marks and just went into survival mode and made her to the finish, which paid out. And uh, I just believe we got uh, I think first in class, and I think we're tenth car overall, and I believe first uh, Polaris. So it was a killer day. Casey uh, and I we did uh, amazing. Exactly what we planned to do. All right. Finish King of the Hammers UTV. Woof! It looks like top ten overall. Not sure yet in class, but I'm, I'm hoping it's good. Um, but what a great day! Sean did a great job in the passenger seat. Um, not a single flat tire with our Nitto tires. The Fox shocks, like the oh shit button, <coughs> is the best thing that ever happened to these cars. Like you're just going too fast and you don't know what's going to be on the other side of that ridge. And when there's that G out, man, you just hit that button. It firms the car up and. It helped us a lot, but um, yeah, man, the team did a great job putting the car together. All the, all the companies had chipped in to help uh, make this thing uh, be perfect. But uh, we got out of the car uh, twice. Uh, we got out of the car Thor's hammer. Uh, it was chaos up there, so we just waited our turn and then winched up so we didn't break anything. And then sledge hammer, I just didn't want to mess with it. Just winched there, but around that, great day. So everything on this car is bolt on. We didn't weld anything on the entire car. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just stoked that a car that literally is all upgrades, or bolt-on upgrades, can come here and finish King of the Hammer. So I'm pretty stoked. This Pro-R is truly an amazing machine, so. Come on. Hell well, yeah. Official. Official, baby. We came, we conquered. Super pumped, dude. The freaking Razor, unbelievable killed it. So, first time we've ever won at the Hammers. Brothers won. So, very excited. Very excited. Forty-four hundred, freaking King of the Hammers, baby. This is what we, uh, this is what we do everything for. So the car was built for this race. We uh, did a lot of work over the off season, and yeah, I mean it's time. I'm, uh, I'm excited. It's gonna be a long day, a grueling day, but ready to push hard and have fun, dude. I got Warren Ryan with me. The guy's done a great job on the uh, trophy Jeep, and whew, just want to have a smooth, fun day. Big race day. We're out here, start of the 2023 King of the Hammers Race of Kings. Uh, we're starting 32nd, which I don't think is a terrible spot. It's better than what we started last year. Um, it's gonna be really dusty this first lap. I'm hoping the breeze picks up. But uh, we're out here, got the Trophy G with all new front end, a bunch of goodies on it. Hopefully she holds together through the desert so we can go try and run with these guys in the rocks. Go have some fun out there. Yow!
Well, the day ended early. I can't, I can't make this up. We, uh, we spent all this money and all this time to completely redo the whole trophy Jeep. Have like on a race mile 25, uh, oh, we got a PDM fault, which basically means that something was over spiking on voltage. And then we we backed it down, tried to figure out how to reset it. Didn't work. We limped it to the uh, pit one, and uh, basically we uh, there was a bad fan on the back of the tra uh, transfer case cooler. So we, we tried to fix it. Uh, we got it working better. Uh, we we thought it was fixed. We went like another mile, and boom, it broke again. At that point, we would start breaking something down. It hurts me. So we come back and keep pushing. I love it. We're gonna keep doing it because. Uh, <laughs> I want, to, I want to win here. I'm Casey Curry. Thank you for watching. Now, comment below. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Subscribe right here. Watch more videos here. Thank you, guys.